My name is Wakli Pierre, and uh, I day trade for a living. My second name is Bianna Berry Addict. So uh, I've been into cars at a very young age, since I could remember. And um, I'd say 11, 12, 13. I, I used to play with toys, cars, and, and then I couldn't afford them at the time. So yeah, at a very young age, yeah. My first car was a 1999 Nissan Maxima. I owned that car um, for a long time because uh, after that I was able to buy a BMW, which was my dream car. So my first BMW was a 2011 uh, 335i N55. And six months later, I switched it back to a 11 N54 335is. The reason I got into BMWs is because uh, I was a valet back in the days, 07, 08, 09, 010. Um, I don't remember exactly what year, but I was a valet at that time. And then I was driving a lot of BMWs um, for customers, you know what I mean? So back and forth and and um, and then I fell in love after that. And I was doing a lot of research on forums, even though I didn't have a BMW. I was spending hours and hours looking at them and I'm like, damn, I wish I could buy one, you know? So, and then it become dream, dream come true, you know? So the car, yeah, so uh, the car I have right now, it's a 2016 uh, BMW M4 GTS. Uh, I bought it at uh, Center BMW, California. Well, originally I wanted to buy it in, in Florida. And uh, I went to a dealership here in, in South Florida and I gave them an offer. They said, no. And, um, and then I gave them, and then, and, and then I was looking at the time. And then someone sent me a text of a black, M4 GTS, and then uh, I called the dealership to say yes, let's do it. And then a couple of hours before I signed the paper, they're like, oh, the black GTS is, is not for sale, it's for the owner of the dealership, but we have a gray one, we can give you at a better price. And then a month later, I bought the car. I chose the M4 GTS because um, I had other M4s and M3s before, and they were heavy and uh, I didn't like them. So, and then that car was one off. You know what I mean? So I decided to buy it at that time. And at that price, at the price I got it, was very close to what they were selling. Not close, close, but it was, it was close to what they were selling a brand new M3, M4. Okay. In my point of view, um, the reason that makes uh, M4 GTS special is, is the driving. You know what I mean? It's very light, it's, it's fast, it's, 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 it's like a go-kart. You know what I mean? When you drive a car like that, um, at a high speed, it is very re rewarding, you know. So it's um it, it's it's better than any other M4s and M3s I've owned before. So I could I, I could tell you that I can tell you that. Sorry. So uh, the special features on GTS is the is the water injection. Um, so that's what separated from other cars. So basically, you get um, you get more power uh, because the water injection put uh, is. Um, it makes the engine a little bit colder, so that way you can get more power out of it. So that's what does, and, and more power. So I think it's, uh, don't quote me though, I don't know, it might be, I think it's 500 horsepower, and 600 um, uh, torque, something like that. So it's, you, have, you have extra horsepower, you have the extra torque, and you have the water injection. The car is lighter, way lighter than, because I've had M4s and M3s, the car is way, way, way lighter to what it is, and the car is, quick and very fast and the work yeah so uh, after I got the car and um, like I told you I never wanted to have that color I wanted to have a black GTS you know what I mean so after a year and two and two thousand miles later I realized that I didn't like the color it's either I, it, at that time it's either I bought a Porsche or I do something crazy with the car and I wanted to buy a GT3 um, if I would get a Porsche, I would buy a GT3 Miami Blue. You know, so I'm like, there, I'm like, there, there were so many of them at that time. So I'm like, might as well do something crazy. You know what I mean? So I was looking to wrap the car, Miami Blue. And then uh, I spoke to a friend. The friend is like, do, do, are you going to sell the car? I'm like, well, I'm never going to sell that car. This is like, so pay it then. And then after that point of time, I decided to look into it. And there were a couple of people that were telling me a shop in California which uh, CC Collision, CNC Collision. And I talked to them and um, they were able to sell me over the phone. And I was able to talk to them and they were able to guarantee me like, hey, listen, that, that's what they do and everything like that. So that's why I decided to send the car to California. Yeah. 
Well, I was looking for a color that uh, I was looking for at that time, that, at that time, which was like two years ago. At that time, that was a color that I fell in love with. And still right now, because I don't drive the car every day. So every time I see the car, I, I fell in love, you know what I mean? So I, I'm kind of, I'm happy I make that choice because I get bored easily, you know? So I'm very happy I got that choice. But at that time, that was, the, that was my favorite color. So basically, um, like I told you, um, um, I spoke with the guy and then the guy's like, he sent me a bill and then I'm like, okay, so the guy didn't believe me that I would do this to that car. So I call him, I'm like, listen, the car is on its way. And then when the car is there, he's like, wow, okay. And then he talked to me the same day the car got there, he took everything out. He took the wheels out. He took the, he took the inside out. Um, he, took the, he took everything out. Um, the, the only thing that has not been of the car was the engine, but everything was of the car. All the liners, all, all the inside, everything. Everything was of the car. The glasses, everything. Even the glass. Even the glass, yeah. Um, well, I'm, I'm gonna tell you about mine. So, because I'm pretty sure you can do some research online about that. So, about mine, the difference about mine is that um, the cage are painted Miami blue. Um, I have the European seat OEM from, from BMW. And I have custom painted dash uh, that show the GTS and Miami blue. And then I have the, the fire extinguisher. So, it's basically how they would sell it to you in, in, uh, in uh, Europe but I add a little bit touch to it and make it uh, mine. I've done a lot to the car. Uh, um, I've, I've added uh, BBS, RT88. Um, I've, I've added um, RKP risers and end plate. And uh, I've added um, it's painted, painted front lip and I've added 3D diffusers, side, uh, side skirt, 3D. Uh, of course, the interior is uh, European seat and I've had a different extinguisher and then um, intake, um, eventual intake. I've, uh, I've done um, and DME tune. DME tune? Yeah. What stage DME tune? Stage three. You have a stage three yeah. DME tune? I think it because the, 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 stage, the stage three on itself, it's another 100 horsepower. And plus if you add, because right now I have, um, if I want to do the E85, I can do it. So it, I think with 85, it's, it's about, I say six, something like that. Because you feel the difference after all those modifications is done, yeah. So uh, right now, uh, right now the car is still under warranty. So when everything is done, uh, I'm planning on um, remove the water injection and replace it with E85. So that's, but that's when the warranty is gone. And then uh, one of the big job of mine is to change the transmission put a six-speed on it. So hopefully I can make it happen. So, but that's, that's my goal. But it's, that's not something that's gonna happen now. It's gonna happen like in one or two years, yeah. Would I sell it? No. But someone did came and told me if I wanna sell the car. When the car, because I was posting the, the, the progress of the car on, uh, on my IG. And then uh, one of the guys, like, he was a sultan or something like that in Middle East. And he was like, if if I'm gonna sell the car, but I told him no, you know, but I'm still not interested in selling the car right now, so. Right now, I have a M3 CS. I have a Porsche Macan, yes. And um, let's start over. Um, I, have a, I have a 18, a M3 CS, 18 Macan. I have a 88 Nissan Silvia S13, and I have a 87 E30, 325, uh, 325S. And of course the GTS, so that's what I have right now. M4 GTS. The M4 GTS bring the most joys out of all of them. But the CS is the same thing as, as the GTS, but this is not friendly. This is not, you can't daily drive this because you're gonna lose your back on this one. Because, uh, because the GTS is more, is more subtle. Um, the CS is more, is more, um, I mean, I don't know. The CS is more forgiving. Uh, when it comes to when when it comes to sus suspension, yeah. I never um, I never drove um, I never driven a race car before, so I can't really tell you if you feel like a race car, you know. But I can one thing I can tell you, but it's very direct. Uh, you feel pretty much anything on the car. The car is very noisy because you don't have all the sound um, delaying, so everything is delayed on the car. Um, yeah, that's about it. So changing through the gear is very fast. It's 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 very rewarding. 
you know what I mean? So it's, um, I love it, so. So uh, everything you see on the car was done by, beside the paint, everything on the car was done by Above and Beyond Performance and West Palm Beach. So they pretty much do everything, lower the car. Actually, actually the car had a color on it, so you couldn't take it lower. So we had to cut it. My friend Brian at Above and Beyond uh, cut it, so we had to drop it lower. And um, everything you see, the intake, the downpipe, Akrapovic, it's um, the 3D, everything you see on the car, IND, IND helped me out a lot on, on the car. And um, CNC Collision and California helped me out a lot. So those guys, I want to give them a big thanks. Thank you. I want to thank uh, Beyond Video and Vision for the invite and another for me to get my story out. Uh, you guys did a good job by doing this. So, and I would like to thank uh, Above and Beyond, IND and CNC Collision for making my dream come true and by building my m 4 in Miami Blue. Thank you guys for everything. If you guys want to follow me, uh, follow me at, on Instagram at BNW Addict. Thank you. Yeah, we're set. Yeah, we're <laughs> oh man. <laughs> uh, well, that was a little bit uncomfortable, you know what I mean? So, well, you, you know the thing.